Welcome to Nursing Prep. Push yourself in nursing preparation with smart way. Practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com. Parenteral Nutrition A patient receiving parenteral nutrition is administered via the following routes except Option A. Subclavian line Option B. Central venous catheter Option C. Pick Peripherally inserted central catheter Line Option D. Peg tube Right answer is Option D. Peg tube Percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy Peg tube is inserted into a person's stomach through the abdominal wall that is used to provide a means of feeding when oral intake is not adequate. While parenteral nutrition bypasses the digestive system by the administration to the bloodstream. A nurse is monitoring the status of a client's fat emulsion, lipid, infusion and notes that the infusion is 2 hours delay. The nurse should do which of the following actions? Option A. Adjust the infusion rate to catch up over the next hour. Option B. Make sure the infusion rate is infusing at the ordered rate. Option C. Increase the infusion rate to catch up over the next few hours. Option D. Adjust the infusion rate to full blast until the solution is back on time. Right answer is Option B. Make sure the infusion rate is infusing at the ordered rate. The nurse should maintain the prescribed rate of a fat emulsion even if the infusion's time consume is behind. Are incorrect since increasing the rate will potentially cause a fluid overload. A nurse is preparing to hang the initial bag of the parenteral nutrition. PN, solution via the central line of a malnourished client. The nurse ensure the availability of which medical equipment before hanging the solution. Option A. Glucometer. Option B. Dressing tray. Option C. Nebulizer. Option D. Infusion pump. Right answer is. Option D. Infusion pump. The nurse should prepare an infusion pump prior hanging a parenteral solution. The use of an infusion pump is important to make sure that the solution does not infuse too quickly or delayed since the parenteral nutrition has a high glucose content. A glucometer is also needed since the client's glucose level is monitored every 4 to 6 hours, but it is not an essential item needed. Are not used before hanging a PN solution. A nurse is conducting a follow-up home visit to a client who has been discharged with a parenteral nutrition PN. Which of the following should the nurse most closely monitor in this kind of therapy? Option A. Blood pressure and temperature. Option B. Blood pressure and pulse rate. Option C. Height and weight. Option D. Temperature and weight. Right answer is. Option D. Temperature and weight. The client's temperature is monitored to identify signs of infection which is one of the complications of this therapy. While the weight is monitored to detect hypovolemia and to determine the effectiveness of this nutritional therapy. A nurse is preparing to hang a fat emulsion, lipids, and observes some visible fat globules at the top of the solution. The nurse ensures to do which of the following actions. Option A. Take another bottle of solution. Option B. Runs the bottle solution under warm water. Option C. Rolls the bottle solution gently. Option D. Shake the bottle solution vigorously. Right answer is. Option A. Take another bottle of solution. Fat emulsions are used as dietary supplements for patients who are unable to get enough fat in their diet, usually because of certain illnesses or recent surgery. The nurse should examine the bottle of fat emulsion for separation of emulsion into layers or fat globules or the accumulation of froth. The nurse should not hang a fat emulsion if any of these observed and should return the solution to the pharmacy. A client is receiving nutrition via parenteral nutrition. PN. A nurse assesses the client for complications of the therapy and assesses the client for which of the following signs of hyperglycemia. Option A. High-grade fever, chills, 
and decreased urination. Option B. Fatigue, increased sweating, and heat intolerance. Option C. Cause dry hair, weakness, and fatigue. Option D. Thirst, blurred vision, and diuresis. Right answer is. Option D. Thirst, blurred vision, and diuresis. Signs of hyperglycemia include excessive thirst, fatigue, restlessness, blurred vision, confusion, weakness, cosmolts respirations, diuresis, and coma when hyperglycemia is severe. A nurse is carrying a client who disconnected the tubing of the parenteral nutrition from the central line catheter. A nurse suspects an occurrence of an air embolism. Which of the following is an appropriate position for the client in this kind of situation? Option A. On the right side, with head higher than the feet. Option B. On the right side, with head lower than the feet. Option C. On the left side, with the head higher than the feet. Option D. On the left side, with head lower than the feet. Right answer is. Option D. On the left side, with head lower than the feet. Air embolism happens when air enters the catheter system when the fourth tubing disconnects. If it is suspected, the client should be placed in a left side lying position. The head should be lower than the feet. This position will lessen the effect of the air traveling as a bolus to the lungs by trapping it on the right side of the heart. A client is being weaned off from parenteral nutrition, PN and is given a go signal to take a regular diet. The ongoing solution rate has been 120 ml per hour. A nurse expects that which of the following prescriptions regarding the PN solution will accompany the diet order. Option A. Decrease the PN rate to 60 ml per hour. Option B. Start 0.9% normal saline at 30 ml per hour. Option C. Maintain the present infusion rate. Option D. Discontinue the PN. Right answer is. Option A. Decrease the PN rate to 60 ml per hour. When a client begins eating a regular diet after a period of receiving PN, the PN is decreased slowly. PN that is terminated abruptly will cause hypoglycemia. Gradually decreasing the infusion rate allows the client to remain sufficiently nourished during the transition to a normal diet and prevents an episode of hypoglycemia. A client is receiving parenteral nutrition, PN, in the home setting has a weight gain of 5 pounds in one week. The nurse next assesses the client to identify the presence of which of the following. Option A. Hypotension. Option B. Crackles upon auscultation of the lungs. Option C. Thirst. Option D. Polyuria. Right answer is. Option B. Crackles upon auscultation of the lungs. Normally, the weight gain of a client receiving PN is about 1 to 2 pounds a week. A weight gain of 5 pounds over a week indicates a client is experiencing fluid retention that can result to hypovolemia. Signs of hypovolemia includes weight gain more than desired, headache, jugular vein distension, bounding pulse, and crackles on lung auscultation. Options hypertension, not hypotension is expected, are associated with hyperglycemia. A nurse is making initial rounds at the beginning of the shift and notice that the parenteral nutrition, PN, bag of an assigned client is empty. Which of the following solutions readily available on the nursing unit should the nurse hang until another PN solution is mixed and delivered to the nursing unit? Option A. 10% dextrose in water. Option B. 5% dextrose in water. Option C. 5% dextrose in normal saline. Option D. 5% dextrose in lactated ringer solution. Right answer is. Option A. 10% dextrose in water. The client is at risk of hypoglycemia. 
Hence the nurse will hang a solution that has the highest amount of glucose until the new parenteral nutrition solution becomes readily available. Thanks for watching. You can also practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com link in description box. If you have any doubt ask in comment section and you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.